Reproduction in animals. All the living organisms on this earth reproduce to give out their egg ones to maintain the balance in the ecosystem. The reproduction helps to maintain their population. For example, the cow gives rise to its egg ones called cow calf. In the same manner, the hen lays eggs and give out the chickens. In this manner all the living organisms including microorganisms reproduce to maintain their population on this earth modes of reproduction there are two modes of reproduction they are asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction asexual reproduction involves no gametes the gametes are not formed and there is no fusion of gametes even but in sexual reproduction the gametes are formed and these gametes fuse to form the zygote the zygote further develops into the new organism the best example the best modes of asexual reproduction are binary fusion budding regeneration etc and the sexual reproduction occurs in the mode of viviparous and oviparous binary fission a single organism divides into two organisms that is called as binary fission the best example for binary fission is bacteria budding in budding the organism give out a bud which further develops into the new organism and it is separated from the parent organism and develops into an independent individual the best example for budding is hydra regeneration the capability of generating or developing into new organism which is a piece which is separated from the parental organism the best example for regeneration is planaria when the planaria is cut into several pieces each and every piece develops into a new planaria so the best example for regeneration is planaria on the basis of the organisms on the basis of the sexual reproduction how they produce their egg ones the organisms are divided into two types oviparous and viviparous the organisms which lay eggs and then give out the egg ones are known as oviparous the organisms which directly give birth to egg ones are known as viviparous the examples for oviparous are the lower order organisms and also the birds which give the eggs which lay the eggs and then the chickens or egg ones give come out of the eggs the viviparous organisms are those which give out the egg ones the best example for viviparous organisms are mammals the mammals give out the directly give birth to egg ones and feed them with their milk so they are known as mammals the best example for viviparous are mammals in mammals there are two types of organ systems to undertake the process of reproduction for example in human being there is male reproductive organ system and female reproductive organ system the male reproductive system produces sperm whereas the female reproductive system produces the eggs the sperm fuse with the eggs to form zygote this is called as fertilization the zygote develops into embryo and further it develops into the egg one on the basis of the location of fertilization the organisms are again divided into two types external fertilization and internal fertilization if the fertilization occurs inside the body it is known as internal fertilization whereas the if the fertilization occurs out of the body that is known as external fertilization metamorphosis This is another interesting fact that the low, some of the lower order organisms exhibit the larva which is totally different with their parental organisms they further develop into the further they uh, totally change into their original structure that is known as metamorphosis it is clearly exhibited by the frog the larva of the frog the ta- which is known as tadpole larva it resembles the fish and it acts like a fish but in further process it develops into the frog this is known as metamorphosis so whatever the facts the reproduction 
is the main process which is performed by the organisms living organisms to maintain their population on the earth and also to maintain the balance in ecosystem to maintain the biodiversity on the earth thank you